Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Welcome in Koneko, welcome in Landon, welcome in Kendra. Hey guys, how's it going? It is, it's Karen. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I promised you guys a dice update, so that is what we are going to start with before we get into like our quiz and our game like we like to do. So, let me go get them from the craft closet. I'm putting on a glove because I don't want to get uh, fingerprints all over the dice. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Landon, do you have a question for the tarot, or do you want just, like, a general, like, see what we pull for you? <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. I'll show off the D20 because, oh, it's on my head. That's so cute. I'm going to um, show off the D20 because that's, of course, uh, the most interesting one to look at. So here we go. Oh, can't get too closer it's like too bright but this is how shiny it is i'm sure you can see the way that the light is picking it up meow to you too jane there we go let's we'll see if i get it closer to the camera i think it's gonna hide my face it's not gonna focus on it but it's super shiny i'm gonna post pictures on twitter probably tomorrow um because they still need a wipe down with a microfiber cloth and some isopropyl alcohol and again, I'll show off my favorite, this D4 that will absolutely kill you. So let me show you the shape of it. So Kendra, if you end up getting a set of these, you can't let Eliza have them because you actually will hurt yourself on this. And, uh, and they're sharp edge dice, so they are very, very sharp. Like you can see there's no rounding. This is like just a straight up cube. You think I have a choice. <laughs> you do have a choice, Kendra. Oh, and of course, um, as you guys have seen with the pictures on Twitter, I'm also including a coin with the sets that I make. So this is the one, two coin right here. Welcome in, Jane, by the way. I can't remember if I said that. I have the perfect rogue who, rogue who needs a sharp D4. Oh, fabulous, Landon, fabulous. Okay, we're gonna take the glove off. Um, I'll post, you know, pictures, close up and stuff on Twitter tomorrow so that you guys can see. Uh, let me go get my tarot cards. We'll do this, we'll do this before we get started on the quiz and everything too. Oh yeah, them dice is sexy. Okay, we're doing a poll for Landon. Let's see what we get. It's been a minute since we've done a, a tarot card on, pull on stream. One always likes to stick in the, in the package. It's <laughs> dagger and a D4. That's true. It is. It is a dagger and a D4 at the same time. Oh my god. This pack won't open. I think I put too many cards in there. There we go. Okay. And get the keyboard out the way. And we'll shuffle these guys up. All right, Kawaii Taro, what do you have in store for Landon today? We've got a snow day tomorrow. That's pretty cool. And let's see, on Saturday, she and I are going to be talking about Death Eaters. Let's see what else is, what else is going on in Landon's life right now. I don't know. Landon, what else would you like me to tell the cards about what's going on in your life right now? Problematic faves. Yes, exactly. We're going to talk all about our problematic faves. 
I low key, well, high key, really, unironically, love the Death Eaters in Harry Potter. They're so cartoonishly um, ghoulish. It's fantastic. Overworked, overwhelmed, but loving it. All right, cards. She's overworked, overwhelmed, but loving it. What we got? What we got? We've got 10 of cups in reverse. Okay. Interesting. Let's read about it. Hmm. You having some trouble with your family right now, Landon? Because that's apparently what the Ten of Cups is about. There's some kind of uh, issue with communication or trust within your family or household or something of that nature. Um, so Kawaii Taro thinks that that's what you need to focus on right now, whatever that situation is that's going on with your family. Well, <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but apparently the situation going on right now, uh, the Kawaii Taro deck thinks you need to need to give it some focus. All right, let's put these guys up. And I can hear the dog coming. She wants in, I'm sure. Okay, let me let the dog in. Before I do that, I'm going to link the quiz for you guys that we're going to do. So everybody can pull this up and they can do it. I'll talk about it in just a second. Let me let the dog in. Come on. Come on, girlie. Yeah, you did it. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to probably be taking on Lieutenant Surge today. That's probably what's going to end up happening. And, um, and he's definitely like a dad in the Pokemon universe. I mean, he's not like your dad or anything, but he's, you know, he's got that vibe, right? Um, plus, we talked a lot about going to the barbecue during the Stardew stream. So we're gonna figure out what type of dad based on what we wear to the barbecue. So I'll pull it up. There we go. Okay, what type of dad are you based on what you wear to the barbecue? Let's find out, shall we? All right, hi there, welcome to the barbecue. First, did you come with anyone? Yes, I brought my kids. Yes, I brought my whole family. Yes, I brought my partner. The kids are at their friend's house. Yes, I brought my partner. We have no kids. No, it's just me. Yes, I brought my partner. We have no kids. Great, take a seat. What top did you come in? Fun shirt. <laughs> I love how they call like a Hawaiian shirt a fun shirt. That's what I call all of those like men's like printed pattern shirts. Those are Hawaiian shirts to me. A polo shirt, dress shirt, old t-shirt, or no shirt. My t-shirts aren't old, so I guess I'm picking this, but <laughs> my dad? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what about bottoms? Jeans, khakis, fancy pants, sweats, jorts, sweats. Um, Since the pandemic, I only wear sweats and... um and uh, yoga pants anymore. And I don't think I'm gonna go back, you guys. I don't think I am. Let's see those shoes, sports shoes, expensive shoes, way too expensive shoes. Are these Gucci slides? <laughs> Comfy shoes, no shoes, no shoes. Shoes are foot prisons, you guys. Cool, dad. Kaneko, you are the coolest dad. Okay, do you wear glasses? No. What about sunglasses? Yeah. Okay, do you accessorize? Oh my God. I love fanny packs actually for traveling, no lie, but I would not wear them to the barbecue. Cardigan, nothing, all of the above at the same time. <gasps> We're gonna go with nothing. I don't like any of these choices for a barbecue. Lastly, what did you bring for the barbecue? Steak. I couldn't decide on one thing, so I brought a bunch of smaller stuff, bag of plain chips all the way, lasagna. Why does lasagna get a smiley face? Um, Something vegan, salad. Why is dessert not an option? I brought cupcakes. Um. I don't know, I guess lasagna. I don't like any of the options because I definitely brought cupcakes to the barbecue. I got the stylish. Oh, I got the stylish dad too. Wait, who else got stylish dad? Jane? Okay, Jane, we are vibing on this quiz. Um, congratulations, you're the best dressed at the barbecue. Maybe a little overdressed, but hey, no one's complaining. Just be careful to not get any hot sauce in that fancy shirt of yours. You probably have an office job or something to be able to afford all those fancy clothes and bring expensive foods to the barbecue. Oh my god, okay, so like, <laughs> I chose shoes, that no shoes, and I chose 
old t-shirt and I still got this. Let's see what some of the other ones said. Okay, classic dad. Oh, classic dad. You're the guy that pops into everyone's head when they hear the word dad. You're the most prolific of dads. You love steak, you love barbecues, you love sitting around sleeping on your lawn chair. You probably organized this barbecue in the first place and made sure you're on chef duty. Kendra, it's true. You are the daddiest of dads. You're my dad. <laughs> boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> Congratulations. You're my dad. You might not have the best style at the barbecue, but you sure know how to fix stuff and you bring good food every time. You make good conversation and you're a third in line for a chef position, but you're probably making indoor eating appetizers. Ooh, I like that. So the, the my dad, I guess, is chef dad. Karen keeps us all cool. I don't know about that. I didn't get cool dad. I got stylish dad. Um, cool dad was... Uh, Let's see. Did anybody get Cool Dad? Is that an option? Yeah, Cool Dad's an option. Okay, that was fun. That was a good quiz, you guys. <laughs> I like the dads. Oh, you were Cool Dad. Um, did you paste in your thing? No. Okay. I didn't miss it then. Yeah, Koneko is keeping us cool then. All right, you guys. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play. Dress a little funny, but always brighten up the mood. You keep food allergies and preferences in mind. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. That is really cool. Okay. We're going to unpause. The, the levels look good. Tell me if it's too loud or too quiet. Thank you for the lurk, Landon. All right, we're going to come up here, and we're going to pick up um, these items, because we didn't get these hidden items last time. I completely forgot they existed. And then there's one on this side too, even though there's no weird grass. Same thing. Oh, you can't hear the game. Okay. Let me look at my sound settings. Ooh, that's too loud. There, I turned it up a little bit. That's probably better. Tell me if you still can't hear it. All right, we're going back to the SSN. Okay, fabulous. Thank you, Koneko. I appreciate the tech support very, very much. Okay, um, I leveled up all of the Pokemon to like level 20 that were not level 20 before. Um, I also leveled up the Pokemon that were in the box. So like I got a bunch of extra berries and stuff like that because the Meowth um, has pickup for its ability. So I, you know, berries and stuff. So if you see like random items that you didn't see me get, that's how I got them. I uh, Meowth picked them up for me. All right, we're going to go on the SSA and we're going to fight a whole bunch of trainers. We're going to start down in the basement. Okay, I have to get used to playing like a regular Pokemon game because oh my god. <laughs> uh, did I already go into all these trash cans? I think I might have. Yeah, I think we did this last time. I think we did the first two rooms last time. Is there any other... Yeah, down here. Yeah, we did these two rooms. But I can't remember if I checked the trash cans. There's a lot of hidden items in the trash cans in this game. Alpha Rapidash keeps screwing me over and I want it so badly. Don't worry, Koneko, you will get it. I, um, I have one. So, I believe in you. Okay. Here we go. I can't even control it at this point because I'm star rank 3, but screw it, I want it. Oh, you just need to star up. You just need to star up and you'll you'll be doing much better. Yeah, um, unironically, seriously, this is my take. Pokemon Legends Ar Arceus, um, sorry, that's how I say it. If you don't like it, I, I can't change at this point. It's too, been too long. Um, Arceus is the best Pokemon game in a long time. And I know it's getting a lot of hate for like graphics and stuff, but like, I don't care. <laughs> I really could not care less if the graphics are not that great, or like, you know, if there's certain things that are slightly unpolished, or that the Switch can't do, and it was too ambitious or whatever, like, I don't know the reasons that it doesn't work for the graphics a lot of times, but it doesn't. And, um, I don't care, like, the being out in the open world and throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon without having to battle and having, like, you know, a lot more real-time action and stuff going on, like, it's just the best. It is the freaking best. Arceus and Arceus are both correct officially. It started as Arceus, but then they realized it sounds just like Ars <laughs> and changed the official pronunciation. Oh, thank you, Koneko. Thank you. 
Oh, we are 75% complete, you guys, with the Doki Doki Literature Club challenge. Uh, once we reach the top of that, then I will put it on the schedule to finish that game. So if you guys would like to see that, please add in your channel points to uh, to the, the pile. All right, I think here it's like all sailors. So we're just gonna keep using Ivysaur. <laughs> well, I might have to switch to someone else because I don't want him to get too high. Um, yeah, I think Lieutenant Surge's Pokemon is level 24. That's what I've written in my notes, his top Pokemon's level 24. So. We'll use um, Landon as much as we can until she reaches level 24. Then we'll have to swap to somebody else. So there's all these sailors in here. Um, but yeah, I've actually, I've been playing that game so hardcore that I've almost beaten it. I'm at the very last, um, what do you call those battles where you're fighting, like, the big one and you're throwing the things? Like, I'm at the very last one of those. Um, it is hard. Like, oh my god, you gotta dodge, 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 like, freaking crazy. And, um, I'm not that talented. Like, I'm pretty bad at video games. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like how I'm gonna beat it. I tried once and I was like, holy crap, this is actually challenging. Um, never mind. And, um, and I went to go, you know, work on other things. So, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I actually found the first two pretty difficult, and then the third one and fourth one I found pretty easy, to be honest, and then this final one I think is, um, pretty difficult. All right, so we're gonna have to lead somebody else. Uh, I don't know if there's more. Is there more sailors in the next room? Let's see. Also for the end game, actually okay with a hint at what you need to prepare for. Or do you not want spoilers? I don't care about spoilers. You can give me spoilers. Oh, the other thing that I did, I remember. Okay, guys, I couldn't stand it. Once I had a Butterfree, I have to use it. I freaking love Butterfree. Um, instead of Beatrice, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I love it so much. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay. Is this the room I was just in? No, different room. Okay, we need to go. We did just do that room. It's this room. Gimme that item. Super potion. Okay, I guess you don't battle. I could have sworn there was like a, um, there was more, there was like a, a trash can that had a potion in it on this floor, but I guess not. Or maybe I already got it last stream and I just didn't update my notes properly. Hmm. Okay, so in-game has a tough battle against a full team, or I think it's a full team, followed by a two-stage boss fight. There's no helium between. Holy crapola! That sounds insane. <laughs> ah! uh, well, I'm not that far. I'm at, um, I'm at uh, Avalung. Oh, this is a gentleman. So gentlemen usually have fire-type Pokemon. So I actually want to switch over to Politician. Come on, Politician. We're gonna destroy. Or at least they're not gonna destroy me too hard. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to do some leveling up. My levels are only in like the 50s. So <laughs> uh I might have to I might have to do some leveling up if it's like that situation that you're describing, Koneko. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. Uh okay. He doesn't have any water moves yet. Do I have any- I wonder if I have any TMs that are water moves that I can teach him so he can have something for right now. But yeah, I would say, like, 
with the way that the game's been going, I really, I've been like kind of working on the Pokedex, but not like super hardcore working on the Pokedex. And, um, and I feel like I've done pretty well, like keeping consistent with keeping up with levels and things like that. You know, I've not felt under leveled or over leveled at any point in time during the game. But from what you're saying, I might actually be a little bit under leveled, um, which is fine because here's what I ended up doing today. <laughs> After I realized that beating that final boss was going to be really, really difficult, what I spent today doing was farming Eevees. <laughs> They're a rare spawn. Um, I, I won't say where because, you know, I don't want to give too many spoilers. Um, but uh, but I've been farming them <laughs> with, a, with a method that, uh, that I have for that. It's been pretty fun. Not even out of the first area yet, but I watched Johnstone's catch catch 'em all video. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. This is not a gentleman. This is a lass. So probably let's do Taylor. Oh, I didn't mean to hit summary. I love how much um faster. Oh yes, I would like a rest. I forgot that she was here. I thought she was a trainer. Okay, let's go back out. Oh, that's another gentleman. Shoot, I shouldn't have had Geodude first. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine. Geodude can still take some fire Pokemon. No big deal. Oh, well he's got a poison one. Okay, well no, this is good then. Alright. Oh, but he knows double kick. That's not good. Super effective on my poor Geo dude. Uh oh, I think a kitty cat wants in. Let me let it in. Would you stop body slamming the doors? Come on, if you want in, come on, are you? I'll leave it cracked for just a second. You can decide, and then I'm gonna close it. But yeah, the battles in um Arceus in Legends they uh they are like way faster way way faster uh and more damage and just everything and it just it just feels it feels so good <laughs> uh no you can stay in his double kick didn't do that much yeah and if you have double kick you're not gonna do much either oh crap that's a crit don't crit again oh no i just totally screwed myself with saying that didn't i okay let's swap um, let's go for Moose. It's okay, he didn't die. <laughs> Crit does happen. Oh my god. I have to I have to get back in like the um the regular mainline Pokemon mode. I've been in Arceus mode like all weekend, you know. Oh no. Why would I learn self de No. I'm not gonna learn self-destruct in a Nuzlocke. Yes. Okay, you did want in. Okay. I'm just closing the door. That's all. We don't disturb the whole household. Gosh. They can't stand it when I close the door, which I try to do for, like, meetings and streaming and things like that, and they just can't handle it. They just can't handle it. Okay, the Healy Lady was right back here. Heal me, Healing Lady. Yes, I would like to take a short rest. Okay, so I got Oreo and Lady in here. You guys, you guys can see Lady back there. There she is. Boop. Long distance boop. Alright. Let's put politician back in front she is ladies too cute like it should be illegal what you got to say cherry pie i'm not a waitress i don't know what you want a world cruise is so elegant yet cozy kid I always travel with, with Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. Ooh. Okay, I think these guys are some trainers. So that should be a lass. Uh, let's put 
Let's put Moose in front. Oh, nope, but that's okay. I love Pokemon, do you? I love Pokemon. So I literally have spent like my entire weekend last weekend and like every extra moment <laughs> playing Pokemon. Like literally the only things, that, the things I have done this week are um, work and, um, and polish those dice that I showed you guys at the beginning of the stream and uh, then play Pokemon. It's literally been like every extra moment that wasn't those first two things has been playing. Like I normally would practice a little bit before stream like this. I didn't. I was like <laughs> so into Arceus. I was like, oh my god, I can't. Um, I really just want to play uh, Legends. And so I did. Didn't practice this at all. So um, <laughs> we're going off of very ancient memories here. We'll see how it goes. All right, Moose hyperfang that bitch bird. Yes. Good job, Moose. Uh, no, you can stay in, Moose. It's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, the kitty cats are hyper, you guys. I can hear them getting up to no good behind me. Brick break. We're cruising around the world, my children and I. A bird stripping outside my window at 1 a.m. Uh, that bird is looking for some bird booty. That's the only reason it would want to chirp at that hour. <laughs> it's looking for bird booty. Um at 1 a.m. I'm a global police agent. What? I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Oh no. Well, you better get on that, sir. This ship, she is a luxury liner for trainers of the world. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. Is this the floor that's just a bunch of sailors? I think so. Our captain is a sword master. He is awesome at using cut. And they say he even teaches cut to Pokemon. Oh, fabulous. Yep, there's some trainers out here. Earth, I feel ill. I got seasick, so I stepped out to get some air. Oh no. Ahoy there, are you seasick? No. Yeah, we're gonna get cut, you guys. We're gonna get cut. Either that or the owl woke it up. There's an owl that flies around here. Sometimes I've heard it screeching. Oh, my parents have a bunch of owls in um, in their yard, which I think is really cool. Oh, I forgot to look and see if I had a water thing. Yeah, the bite's not going to do. Crapola. Oh, at least it flinched. That's cool. All right. Come on, Pinky. I need you. It's confusion. Bye, Machop. I just, I love Butterfree. He can put him to sleep, poison stun, and he has like a psychic move. It's just like really cool, really cool Pokemon. Uh, yes, let's do, let's do Moisty. My little list is really pumped to find me watching Pokemon. He needs. He needs you to know he's adoring this with all caps. Oh, well, thank you, Kitty Jr. Um, is that okay? I can call him Kitty Jr. Your littlest? I can't remember how old your littlest is, Kitty, I have to be honest. Um, I mean, I remember about your littlest. I know he's in grade school, but, like, I can't remember beyond that. Oh, no. He's poisoned. Uh, let's quick attack. Die, die, tentacool. Yes, Gabe is going to be 10 in a couple days. Okay, Gabe. All right. 10's an appropriate age to say Junior. I think I can say Kitty Junior then, and that's okay. If I can't remember his name. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I do have an antidote, so I don't have to run back to the lady. Well, my Pidgeotto really loves me. I do love Kitty Junior, though. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> All right. Let's put, let's put Moose in front. And I need to, I need to see if I have any water TMs. Mm 
I do, I have water pulse. Let's see, okay. Some good amount. Okay, let's give him water pulse. So he can have an actual water move. Because I'm not sure when he's going to learn one. Probably going to be a minute. Politician learned water pulse. Fabulous. Alright, good job, politician. Alright, let's do... Let's fix your move so they're in the right order. There we go. Okay. What's this guy have to say? Oh yeah, he's sick. Phew! Scrubbing decks is hard work. True that. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. I guess they are having their sail away deck party. I love that we can just call our friends family by our friends' names plus relation to our friends. <laughs> I, I mean, it's easier, right, than... Um, we don't have to be saying, you know, people's names online that are not really, you know, part of the group. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, Kitty Jr., Mr. Kitty. I called Mr. Jane Mr. Jane yesterday at work. You did not! You called him Mr. Jane at work? Oh my god. <laughs> I enjoy being the main character of my family. Of course you are! Why wouldn't you be? Uh, yes, let's send out Pinky. Hey, you guys, can't you just go, like, lay down so you can be, like, photogenic instead of being crazy pants and destroying everything? Was that meowing? No. Are you saying, telling me no for you? Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't do much good. I got scared because it was an ice move. <laughs> it's just too funny, Jane. It cracks me up. <clears throat> All right. Goodbye, Sailor Edmund. You should be impressed. I am impressive. Okay. Now we go to these rooms. Oh, another gentleman. But I've actually got him with water moves this time. Watch well, it be another gentleman that has poison Pokemon instead of fire Pokemon. <laughs> oh, it was something like this. Okay, wait, tell me again. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all of my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Oh boy. I can't wait to meet the sleepy man. Check out what I fished up. Show me, show me. Okay, Fisherman Dale, let's battle. Go, politician! Bite it! Mr. Jane likes it. <laughs> That's his name, Jane. <laughs> oh, poor Jane. The order of Snorlax sprites is Snorlax waking up and very slowly managing to get out of bed. True, Koneko, very true. Okay. Don't hurt yourself, politician. Just bite it. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> Silly. Okay, okay, okay. You're making me do this. Mmm, let's do Moisty. As a politician, were you not expecting it to hurt itself? I mean, you're right. I should have expected. I should have just expected. We can't try confuse Gyarados, because that's just what he's going to do, since we named him Politician. Uh, no, that's fine. Moisty can stay. Oh my gosh, the Gust does not do enough damage. Burb catching a fish, that's right. Moisty's hungry. He needs fish dinner. Mm, no. You can stay. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been farming up Eevees because I want to finish Eevees um, Pokedex entry. 
Because there's another thing about Legends um, Arceus. I don't know if this is a spoiler exactly. It's probably, it's very obvious, so I don't think it's really much of a spoiler. But um, you get better chance of finding shinies if they, um, if you finish the Pokedex entry for that particular Pokemon. It increases it by quite a lot, so I want to do that, of course. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Okay, well, excuse me, I guess I can kick your booty. Pikachu. Oh no. Definitely have to switch, okay. Go, Taylor. Get that Pikachu. <laughs> All right, rock throw. There we go. That's a test for what's to come, Taylor. You're gonna be doing that a little bit later. I feel young again! Stardust! Okay. Let's obnoxiously go back and heal. Since this is a Nuzlocke. Thanks, lady, for being there for me. Oh, that's not where I meant to go. I meant to go up the stairs. My gosh. I love the fast travel in Legends Arceus Suzumi's. Yes, oh my god. Um, and the fast travel works really fast in this. Like, everything is way faster in this game. It's just, it's very nice and refreshing because Pokemon is typically a very slow game, which I don't mind. You know, I'm, again, I'm bad at video games, so I do prefer a slow game in a lot of ways, but this is nice. Oh yes, I've seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water. That's cool. Small trees can be chopped down using cut, but remember this, cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it's not so easily discarded. Heard. All right, what's in here? Some items. I can't remember TikTok sound after that except for the guy screaming. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> um, as someone who rarely uses healing eyes out, so I've never not having them. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, I would agree. Although, because you can craft in this game. Like, if you are good with your resource management, you end up with, like, plenty of potions, and you can just use them all the time. Uh, and sometimes, depending on the situation, that is faster than running back to camp. But um, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. But I kind of, I do both, I feel like. I do, I run back to camp a lot of times, and I am using potions a lot of times. Bye, Ponyta. But yeah, Koneko, if you're still in the first area and you've even seen, like, the um, Alpha Rapidash, like, just keep exploring like you are, and, and I, I feel like that's, like, the most fun part. Like, blitzing through the story, I feel like, makes the game kind of unfun. Um, so I don't think people should do that. I don't believe I saw you at the party. That's right, because I was late, because I was busy on my Pokemon adventure, saving the world. And from Team Rocket and becoming the best and, you know, all that stuff. Because I just want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Another thing I think is really fun about Legends Arceus is, like, all of the characters are very clearly ancestors of characters um, that, you're, that you meet in Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> and, um, and that cracks me up, you know. That, uh, that it's basically the person, they go back in time and they meet all of their uh, rivals and friends and gym leaders, ancestors and stuff, and it's really funny. I'm doing side quests at the moment, hunting down rare things. I already got the Ponyta side quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, I have him too. Yeah, I try to complete all the side quests. Most of them um, are pretty fun, I feel like. Like, some of them are really easy, some of them are challenging, you know, um, so it's nice. I have to leave and come back so I can get the item. There we go.
My first ever internet username was Ponyta. Oh, that's so cool, Koneko. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. I wish we could go there again. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? There are many kinds of rare Pokemon. The captain said he's awfully sick. He was all pale. I hear that many people get seasick. Oh no. Okay, I think the rival fight is coming up next, so we're gonna save. Yes, I would like to save the game. Yes. And he always starts with his Pidgey. So, let's see, where's Taylor at? You kit, you kittens. Lady, you better not go on top of the computer. You better not go on top of the computer. Hey, why don't you get from back there? Get from back there. There we go. Oh my gosh. So I named the Ponyta Happy in honor of that. Oh, I love that. Ponyta Happy. Happy Ponyta. Yeah, I knew it. I knew Rival Fight was here. Okay. Bonjour, Karen. Imagine seeing you here. Karen, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Is it even possible? Is it po Do I have 40 kinds of Pokemon at this point? Is it possible to catch 40 kinds at this point? Because we know Booty's a cheater. Like a cheater cheater. This is established. All right. We throw rocks. Bye, Pidgeotto. Oh, man. Almost. I thought I was going to Oko him. I thought for sure, but I was wrong. Super effective. Good job, Taylor. Uh, Charmeleon already. Okay, yes. Here you go, politician. This is your time. Your time to shine. He must have been scared at my two-hit KO. Lady. Hey. Oh, no, don't go that way. Say hi. Hello, I'm Lady. I'm so cute. And I'm so destructive. Isn't that right, baby? Okay. That's right. Water versus fire. Oh no, not smoke screen. That's annoying. Okay, don't miss, politician. Good job. Good politician. That's what we like to see. Uh, yes. Pinky, you can go. You can get the Raticate. Following Kingdom Hearts 2 logic, water is weak against fire. Water in that game is classified as a subclass of ice instead of its own class. Yeah, that's so weird, isn't it? Like, water is not a subclass of ice. Don't crit me. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's see. You're really bulky, Taylor. Why don't you go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hyperfang would not do much against this Geo dude. It's because water is not a spell the player could use in that game. Oh, they couldn't be bothered. Okay, yeah, well, so water only enemies use it then, right? And so that's why. That's so annoying though. Kadabra, uh, no, I think Taylor can stay in. You're very bulky, Taylor, so I think we're gonna be okay with this. Um, let's do. Let's do another rock throw. Thank god. Oh, good, good, good. I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. Two misses for the Kadabra, so I just destroyed. You love to see it. Ah, at least you're raising your Pokemon. That's right. I'm raising them better than you. I took out all of your Pokemon. You didn't kill a single one of mine. I heard that there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. 
I love that we named him Booty, and of course he says, smell you later. I feel hideous. Er, seasick. Karen rub the captain's back. Rub, rub. I wish a back rub cured nausea. That would be awesome. Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know. You can have this. This hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. Ooh, we got cut. Chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? Okay, fantastic. So I think I'm going to teach this to... Um, my ivy source. So Landon, you're gonna learn cut. At least we definitely need it. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, we have butterfree now, so we really don't need the sleep powder. So we'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, kitty. We got cut. That's right, guys. We got cut. Okay. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. Okay. Does his ledger say anything? How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. <gasps> oh, a seasick. Sea captain. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Let's blow this popsicle stand. We don't actually want to cruise out. We want to be the very best Pokemon trainer. So we have to leave these people to their cruise and go take on... Whoa! Thank you for the howl, kitty. Thank you for the howl. It is that time. I am now filled with vigor to go and defeat Lieutenant Surge. Goodbye, SSN. I'm waving to all the people as they wave back from the front deck. Is Mew under the truck? I don't know, he could be. He could be under the truck, you never know. Yes, I would like to cut it. All right, let's save. Yes, yes, it's okay to override it. All right, let's go. No Mew is on my shelf, I have a Mew plushie. Ah, oh, cute. Yo, champ in the making, Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. Beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in so it won't be easy getting at him. Okay. This is no place for kids. You have to find two switches. It's very annoying. We're gonna fight the trainers first and then we're gonna do the little puzzle. I feel like most of the puzzles in early Pokemon games, it's not, there's not much of a challenge. They're just kind of annoying. No, miss! What? Oh, don't you double team. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Let's try Magnitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That hit. <laughs> I love seeing the little uh, pets kitty cat walk. The way they walk is so cute. No. I will not. We're just going to magnitude again. I knew that shit was going to happen. It's going to do stupid double team. There we go. But it's okay. We got two Okos. Go, go, Taylor. Good job. Wow. I 
I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. That's right, Evie. Lend me your gamer energy to beat this gym. Oh, I didn't like that. That took off way too much hit points. Uh, I scared. I scared. Um, let's do it again. Okay, good. He chose tackle. Whew. Oh, freaking miss. Annoying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, we only have hyper potions? I need to buy potions. Oh my gosh. That's like so overkill. Whatever. I'm not gonna die. I don't want to lose Taylor. Although I do have a backup with the Diglett. There we go. Watch your meowing out, lady. Nope, we're gonna keep Taylor. I don't like that confusing me. Come on, still attack, Taylor. You can do it. Dang, okay. Let's take, let's try Politician. Because Steel type is a thing now, since this is Fire Red and Leaf Green, I'm pretty sure. So this should do, this should do good. And I don't think Magnemite actually has electric moves. Oh no, it does, it has Thunder Wave. Oh, but that's just gonna paralyze, okay. Whoa! Okay, okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's try Moose. Why is this stupid Magnemite giving me so much freaking trouble? Stupid. Okay. Good job, Moose. Good job. There we go. That was a little bit stressful, you guys. Just a little bit stressful. Whew, Engineer Bailey. All right, we're gonna go heal. Yes, I would like to cut it down. All right. This is what I get for only getting to level 20 when I was leveling everybody up, instead of doing a little bit more. But I don't want to be over-leveled because I feel like that's boring, you know? Like, I could play like that, where I just level everybody up so much that it's, you know, everything's trivial, but then who cares? <sighs> okay. We can do this, guys. No more stupid Magnemites to hurt us. All right, what do you have, sir? Okay, just a Pikachu. All right, Taylor. Oh, he didn't double team first. That's surprising. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, I should have done this all at the same time. Oh, thank you so much, Jane. Thank you, thank you. That stupid little engineer was tough. That Magnemite was just not cooperating. Okay, I'm gonna go buy some potions. Yes, I would like to cut it. Okay, we're gonna do this, too. Let's get smart, guys. Let's get smart. Uh... Heal Paralysis, Wake Up, Cure Poison, Heal a Burn, Defrost, 
10 HP, 30 HP. Let's give Taylor this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do it as a held item. Whatever. Um, let's... I guess for the held items, I have to do it like this. Yeah. Item. Let's give him the 10 HP berry. So he can heal a little bit, or she can heal a little bit on her own. And then... The pouch looks like a face. Is that on purpose or am I nuts? The pouch? What do you mean? Like, if I go in the bag? I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's on purpose. I don't think it's on purpose. <laughs> and I don't really see the face, I gotta be honest. Yeah, okay. So I was looking at the right thing. Yeah, on the side. Face. I'm trying to see it. I don't know. It looks like a bag to me. I'm sorry. I can't see it anymore. Maybe because just because I was going quickly through the different pouches, it looks like that. Uh, okay, let's get some super potions. Oh no, I have seven. Um. Oh, I do have a bunch of super potions. I don't know why I didn't notice them before. Okay, well we can at least sell our nuggets. Yes. And our stardust. I'll tell you when it's on the screen again. I don't know, I thought I went to it and I I don't I just don't see the face. I don't know. Looks like a dice pouch. I mean, so this is what I did. Like I went into the bag and then I went into our berry pouch. Like this. This one? Oh! Ah, uh, the berry pouch does look a little bit like a face. It looks a little- it looks a little face-like. With little- two red eyes on the side. Yeah, 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 a little bit. It's kind of a messed up face, but it does kind of look like a face. No, you're not crazy. I just wasn't on the right screen. It looks a little face-like, yeah. Alright, I saved. Okay. Let's go do the puzzle. All right, so the way this works is it's going to be two buttons next to each other. So I have to find the button, and then I have to find it's going to be one next to it. Ah, shoot. I pressed too many buttons. Okay. That one would have been easy, too because there was only two choices, because I already checked the others. Only trash, okay. Okay, well maybe the puzzle's gonna be really easy on me, and it's gonna be the last two. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Okay, then obviously the next one is this one. Huh? That doesn't make sense. Maybe it doesn't- maybe it doesn't work like that? Maybe it's like the first one and then the second one spawns? Whatever. Yeah, when you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. I know, I know, I know how this puzzle works. It spawns after. Okay, so it could still be this one, or this one, or this one. Oh my god. Okay, we're going with this one. Yay! I did it. Alright. Yes. Alright, let's make sure I've got Taylor in front. Yes, I've got Taylor in front. Okay. Let's go, Surge. Me and you. Me and you. Me and you. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. All right, Surge. Hit me. 
Hit me with them zaps. <clears throat> That annoying freaking sonic boom. Good job, Taylor. No. That's what's a bummer about the these the electric Pokemon is they're so freaking fast, so I don't get to go first. I hate that. And they can do annoying things like this. <laughs> Double teaming me. Oh, good, I didn't miss. Okay. Alright. One more. Can I Oko three in a row? No. Don't want to switch. I just want to throw rocks. Yeah, okay. Can't get the Oko three in a row. The Raichu is too strong. Haha, -ha, but I can do two hits. I can do two. All right. Good job, Taylor. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. Oh, I gotta click the thing because we have the Thunder Badge now. All right, there we go. Ha ha! The Thunder Badge badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly, lightning quick, anytime, kid. Your special kid, take this. TM thirty four. Thank you, thank you for the applause, kitty. Thank you. I don't know why it's not playing. The sound alerts were playing a little bit ago. I don't know what changed. Maybe it's like delayed or something. Here, I'll try to do an applause. There we go. I don't know what was up with that. I hear it in my heart. <laughs> well, thank you. I hear it in my heart, too. Okay. So now that we can cut, what we're going to do is a couple of things. But we're going to go first over here. And we're going to get... I think that's what I want to do. I can't sub to you right now for some reason. I've been playing with it all stream. Oh, that is so weird, kitty. I have no idea. Oh, I should have healed. I should heal first. And then I'll come back here. Let's go heal. Do I hear meow meows? Who's meow meowing? Oh, y'all's getting into stuff in the craft room. That's not good. You know you're not supposed to be in there. When I move, I'm going to have a door for the craft closet. And all the stuff can go in there. And then the animals can't get at it. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is, let's do this route 11 first. Um, do I have Pokeballs? Let's see. Looks like I do not. Or I'm blind again, like I didn't see the super potions before. Oh no, it says I have some. They must be in a different pocket. I must be keep looking in the wrong pocket in my bag. Items, key items, yeah, okay. So I do have some Pokeballs. Alrighty. Charmander is red and Squirtle is blue. Out of the 151, I still choose you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Devon49, and welcome. Um, I think you are new to the stream. We love uh, having new people here, so I appreciate you coming and stopping by. We just beat Lieutenant Surge, and now we're going to take on the, um, the trainers on this route and catch our next Pokemon. <clears throat>
getting butterfree. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a cool emote. I love it. There we go. Good job, Pinky. Alright, since we are doing Species Lock, I think the only possible one I can get here is Drowsy. So we're just going to run around. Oh, there's an item. Gimme that awakening. Yeah, we have Sand True. Now, do I have a Paralyze Heal to take that off? Yes, I do. I just go around and already dumb silly cute pickup lines on all Pokemon streamers right now because I'm bored. Um, truth be told, the most appreciated. I do appreciate it. I, I appreciate a uh, pickup line that is appropriately themed to uh, what stream is going on right now. That takes effort, right? That takes effort and skill. Um, but I think you're doing a really good thing. Okay, come on, Drowsy. Pop up. So we have all the other Pokemon from this route, so it's the only thing that we can that we can get. <clears throat> and we're gonna get to pick out a name. I'll have to look through the list and see what we want to name our Drowsy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Drowsy. Oh my god, stop popping up sand shrews. So annoying. Spearos, oh my god. <laughs> oh yes, Giddy. That gift is so appropriate for a pickup line. That's that's the love for um for you, new chatter. I just miss Sunder. I miss Sunder too. That was my only complaint about that game, is it was too short. I wanted more. Specifically, I wanted more Sunder. There we go. There's Drowsy. Go, Pinky. Alright. Let's put him to sleep. Oh, no. He has insomnia. Okay. Um, then let's stun him. And let's use a Pokeball. He has Insomnia, same. <laughs> true, Koneko, true. I do think it'll be good if you do end up getting um, that position and then uh, fix your sleep schedule. Although, I love having you in my Thursday streams. Your sleep is very important. There we go. Got drowsy. Uh, yes, okay. Let me go to our name list and I'll pick one out from you guys. <laughs> this one, I feel like, um, let's see, no, I think I should use that for a water Pokemon. Let's name this one Badger. It doesn't look like a Badger at all, but that's okay. Badger. Okay. There we go. Um, just like Bulbasaur, you'll always be my number one. Ah, how cute! Okay, Badger. That's drowsy. Okay, let's get the rest of the trainers here. And the items, too. Come on, Moisty. Let's go. Win, lose, or draw. Okay, Gambler. Let's get you caught up a little bit. I'll have to look um, for the next gym. I can't remember what our level cap would be now. I'll have to make sure that I check that in between this and the next stream. No, this is fine. 
I'm not gonna write you a love song. What's, how does that song go? It's like, I'm not gonna write you. I can't sing it. I'd have to listen to it, I think. Cause you asked for it. Cause you need one. You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song. Cause you tell me it's make or break. In this, or you're on your way. Something like that. I think that's how the song goes. Um, I definitely hit most of those notes wrong, but uh, you get the gist. I was listening to her. Ah! <laughs> she does. She has a very good collection of sad cry songs. I totally agree. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Could definitely use some more. 20, 30, 40, basically. Okay. So it's probably going to be like 30 something for the next one. So I've got a good, I've got a good amount of leeway. All right, go pinky. Confusion it. Yeah, I guess because it's steel that didn't do anything. All right. Go, Taylor. Oh, good. Sonic boom attack is annoying. Oh, my word. This is taking too many hits to kill it. Makes me nervous. <clears throat> Oh, another Magnemite. No, that's fine. We'll stay here. Easy to imagine is per gym order generally 10 plus from the first to last. I mean, you're right. If I if you think if I think about it, like that's kind of how it goes. Um, unless you're talking about Johto, <laughs> where they just said linear. What's that? And kind of threw all of that out the window. <laughs> and then you've got that weird section where you've got. Or you're like way over leveled, and it's like impossible to not be. All right, don't hurt yourself, Taylor. There we go. Oh, I don't know how to say that one. I think it's Eva. Evil tall, evil tall is red. Xerneas is blue. Fennekin is cute, but not as cute as you. Oh, I love Fennekin. I, I usually go for the fire starters. I chose Bulbasaur for this playthrough because I was trying to like use, you know, new Pokemon that I hadn't really used before, because um, that's kind of the spirit of the Nuzlocke, right? But um, so I chose Bulbasaur. Plus, I knew that would make the first and second gym a little bit easier. And I just never choose them. I always choose like the fire ones, and then secondarily, I sometimes will choose the water starters. But I like never choose the um, the grass starters. No, don't hurt yourself. All right. Well, that helped a little bit. I'm gonna have to take him out after this. There we go. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Easy mode. Since I've never done a Nuzlocke before, and this is my first one. Well, Taylor is evolving! I think Oreo wants out. I'm gonna let him out while y'all see Taylor evolve. Oreo, did you want out? Did you want out, boy? Baby. Come on. That's what I thought. He did one out. Alright. Now we've got Graveler. Okay, let's go back and heal. Before we take on more. Feels bad, man. No full randomized snus locked. 
<laughs> yeah, um, maybe if this one goes well, I would do a randomized one later, but I just had never done one before, so I wanted to kind of, like, get a f little bit more of a feel for it. Um, it's definitely jarring when you're not used to, uh, n not used to it, like, not even being able to let your Pokémon faint. And I don't know if I'm, I don't know straight up if I'm knowledgeable enough to do um, a fully randomized Nuzlocke. I don't know. Um, I'd have to see. Uh, come here. Come back, kid. There we go. Ready to die is what they're ready for. All right. Nope, you can stay. Um, Devon, are you playing uh, Legends Arceus or Arceus? Whichever way you say it. I, I say Arceus, but I've been... The internet has told me sometimes that is wrong. <laughs> um, we're obsessed, or I'm obsessed anyway. And so is our friend Koneko, who's in the chat. And if you haven't played it yet, I think you should. Because it's awesome! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I agree, Devon. The uh, randomized Nuzlocke would be way more challenging. Um, I'm just... I'm just a wuss. <laughs> oh, shoot, I didn't mean to press that. But that's fun. <laughs> we cut the grass. We're doing some lawn work. Not really gotten into it since Gen 3 or Gen 4. Oh, well, you know what? Um, Arceus uh, really flips the script and changes things. Um, so you might be interested. I don't know. You could try it. Because that's one thing that um, I am super into about it is that it's very different than other Pokemon games. Like, the, the, and not like, um, the story or anything really. I mean, the story's kind of interesting, but it's, it's just okay. But what's really cool about it is that the gameplay loop is, it's just, it's different. Like, you're still catching and battling Pokemon, but you do it in such a different way that it feels really different. Um, and it's really hard to describe. Yeah, like, watching the gameplay, it's not, it's not the same as doing it, I have to say. It's one of those things where, like, doing it is so much better than seeing it. Like, you don't realize how good it's gonna feel. Um, or at least I didn't realize how good it was going to feel. Uh, and it really, really did. It's not the kind of game I usually play, but I'm totally hooked. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel, Koneko. That's how I feel, too. It's like Breath of the Wild Pokemon, you know? And I mean, I liked Breath of the Wild, but I wasn't, like, super into it. Mostly because I didn't like the, um, weapon degradation. I pulled a full stop after black and white because it felt wrong with how the character moved around since I'm used to the Gen 3 way. Oh, I love Gen 5. I would say after Gen 1, uh, Gen 5 is probably my favorite. I'm stuck in the old ways. I understand. I mean, you like what you like, you know. So, I get it. Sure you can, kid. Sure you can. I believe in you. Gen 5 is my favorite gen and I'll always have a soft spot for Gen 4. Oh no, he's- <gasps> Landon's still asleep, you guys. Uh, do I have an, something to wake him up? Yes, I do. Wake up, Landon. It's time to fight. Oh. Fire Red and Emerald will be always be my top games. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because it's like the same as Gen 1, but with all the improvements from, um, you know, Gen 2 and 3. Gotta say, if I'm sleeping and someone sprays me in the face, I'm gonna wake up ready to fight, for sure. <laughs> That's right! That's right! 
Oh, that didn't do very much damage. Dislike. Come on, Zubat. Aw. If I would have critted. I'm gonna head out and see if I'm dozing off. Good night, Koneko. Good night. I will see you later. We're gonna be doing more Nuzlocke next week. All right. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, this one. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. This probably means another annoying Voltorb or Magnemite. Oh, just one, but it is an annoying Magnemite. Do the Magnemites have the Levitate ability? Can I Magnitude it? Maybe I can Magnitude it. Yes, I can. Okay, fabulous. Bye, Engineer Braxton. Oh, another gentleman. Oh, no, he's a gambler. Not a gentleman. I don't know, well, he does have a fire type, but I don't know what type of Pokemon gamblers gen generally have. Maybe it's kind of more random. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> nope. We'll get your Vulpix, too. But yeah, I kind of set myself up for my first Nuzlocke to be not so uh, not so hard, you know, with a game that I know the most, that I've played multiple times and beaten multiple times, which most of the Pokemon games I have played a lot, but I haven't necessarily beat them over and over and over. So, um, Leaf Green is probably the easiest for me. Escape Rope! Did we fight you yet? No. I'm the best in my class. I train every morning. Alright, Rattata. We got this. Go, politician. Oh, I thought Lady might have went to... took a nap like in the craft closet, but no. Now she's by the door, too. She probably wants out. I'll let her out in just a second. She's not harassing me too hard. Uh, no, it's fine. Politician can get rid of the ratatas. Take out the rats, politician. That's what we voted for you to do. Mm. <clears throat> Good job. Oh! Thank you so much for the follow, Devon. So excited to have you here. And I'm so happy that you chose to follow. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We have a lot of fun here, by the way. On uh, Thursdays, it's just me and we play games. And then on Saturdays, I also have a stream that's a little bit more like podcast style, where I tend to have my friends and we talk. Landon is my co-host, so she's on almost all of them. Um, but other people come on, too. Like, right now we're rereading through Harry Potter and having a lot of Harry Potter-themed discussions. Because I had a very, uh... tumultuous... <laughs> uh, relationship in regards to, uh, you know who's tweeting. And, um, I was very angry for a while. I'm trying to let go of that anger and instead just focus on, um, what used to bring me joy. You know, without any sort of financial incentive towards her. 
Not that it would make a difference, because she's a gajillion, billion, zillionaire. <clears throat> so my contribution is just a drop in the bucket. Oh, and week after next... Week after next, though, is not Harry Potter themed. We're gonna be talking about Hamilton. So yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, like podcasts about media analysis and things of that nature, then that's what we do on Saturdays. Can't wait to see you make Landon cry. You know what, Kendra? I really don't think I'm gonna make her cry. She already is. I tweeted, like, I watched um, Hamilton. Like, I listened to the whole thing before, but I actually watched it, you know, in preparation. And, uh, oh no. And, uh, and she said, this, I tweeted, I, I still don't like it. And she goes, this makes me so sad. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. No spoilers for the conversation, guys. I can't tell you why. Um, I said that. You'll just have to come to the show and learn why I have issues with Hamilton. <laughs> I really can't wait to talk about it because it's incredibly complex. Um... My, my, uh, my thoughts and feelings on Hamilton are incredibly complex, so I'm excited. Okay, and we still can't go through here, because this is the guy who's going to stop us about sodas. If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, take Rock Tunnel. You can get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Don't you think it's hard to think up good names for Pokemon, especially if you've caught a whole bunch? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon names. He can even help you rename your Pokemon, too. Excited to see the cultural section you guys do. Oh, that's true, that's true. We always do that section. Um, I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorina. Want to trade one for my Nidorina? No, no, I'm good. I don't want to do that trade. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex is up to 30 species, do I have up to 30 species? Uh, let's say yes. I've only caught 23 kinds. <laughs> uh, well, that's because I am doing Nuzlocke, my friend. So we'll have to come back for that. Can I go through here? I can go through here. This is the other side of Route 11, I guess. Oh, okay. Have a good bath time. Oh, yeah, the Snorlax is here. Okay, that's what's blocking me. I knew something was blocking me. Because when it came out, my theater friends lost their minds over the stuff, as did the theater world. Yes, um, the theater world absolutely bonkers lost their collective shit over Hamilton. They loved it. Tumblr loved it. Everyone loved it. Miku Binder, Jefferson, supremacy for everybody. I don't know if I can take it, but I would never miss a show on purpose. <laughs> Why? Do you love Hamilton or hate Hamilton? Like, what is what is your Hamilpinion, kitty? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> I love it. Well, so does Landon, so maybe you can commiserate with her and both yell at me <laughs> about my takes. <laughs> and tell me how wrong I am. Alright, let's do this next. Oh wait, who's this? Was he here before? How are you doing? It's me, one of Professor Oak's aides. Did you meet the other aide? He had a package from Professor Oak for you, Karen. He said he'd look for you around Route 2. If you're in the Route 2 area, please look for him. Okay. Well, lucky for you, that is where we're going next. Uh, let's see. Let's put Landon first. I uh, didn't mean to do cut. Let's switch. <laughs> well, if this isn't a surprise, Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Well, let's take it then. We already caught our Diglett here, so this isn't new for us, but we're gonna go through it. <gasps> Miss? No, not sand attack.
I just have to kill all these diglets on the way. Goodbye, diglets. Goodbye. See you never. Alright. Oh my god, this thing goes on forever! We're almost out. Oh, I said I was gonna let Lady out. Well, it's okay. You can go. You can want out. Oh, you don't want out. Okay, you just want to lay by the door. That's cool. <clears throat> but I mean, Kitty, I had issues with Encanto, and everyone freaking loved Encanto, and, you know, he didn't want to disown me for that, so... I think we can go on. I think we can go on with me not being into Hamilton. Uh, stop missing, Landon, my gosh. There we go. Yay, we made it out. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Well. You're very close, sir. Let's go in this house. A fainted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It can still use moves like Cut outside of battle. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade one for my Mr. Mime? No, I didn't catch an Abra. Sorry, I wanted an Abra too, but it didn't work out. Is there anything? Is it up here? No. Okay. That is dead end. Yes, I would like to cut. Cut that tree! Take that! Where is this? Is this going into Viridian Forest? Oh no, this is Route 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I want to be. I got an ether. Okay, so back in Viridian City, what we can do is cut down this tree now over here and find out what this guy does. Now that we have cut, we can do all the things. Yawn, I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream, and I learned how to eat dreams. Ugh, this is too spooky. Let me teach it to a Pokemon so I can forget all about it. No, you have to hold that um, terror with you forever, sir. All right, so let's go next. Yes, we're going to bypass Viridian Forest, go up this way. We need to stop in Pewter City. Okay, who's, what's he say? Oh, another one of Professor Oak's aides. Oh, yes. Yeah, there we go. There's... There's HM5. Flash. I need that. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through the rock tunnel. Okay, so now our Pokemon can cut and they can Flash. Good. These are good skills that um, Pokemon should have. Yes. Yes, I would like to cut. Okay, and now up in Pewter City, we can go behind the museum now that we have cut that we couldn't do before. And we can talk to those guys behind the counter. The secrets of space, the mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not toss in the towel. The only thing you should toss? Well, how about Seismic Toss? So, this, this guy will teach you Seismic Toss if you want to teach that to your Pokémon. 
Um, we have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. Okay. What do you say? When I'm behind the counter. You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? No, tell me. Amber is actually sap, the gooey stuff that oozes from trees. The ancient sap fossilizes over time to become rock-hard amber. Thanks for the science lesson. Shh, listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it, but my colleagues just ignore what I have to say, so I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. Yay! Okay, so we got the old amber. We'll deal with that much, much, much later. All right, now we want to go back to Cerulean City, which I guess we can go through Mount Moon. I think Mount Moon will be the best way. So it shouldn't take too long to get through there now that we're not actually like you know, trying to fight all the trainers and stuff, we'll just go straight to the top ladder, and then go. I guess you can kill this, Landon. They probably- I wonder how much experience they'll get from these little guys. Probably not much. Super effective! She was like, the sprite was like mid-run. <laughs> it's like, no, stopped by a Zubat. I know it's not very effective, but nothing your Zubat can do to me is going to really hurt me. Oh my God, stop missing, Landon. It's not nice. Very cute lady. Do you have to lick yourself like that? Right behind me. I should have got some repels. Oh well. <clears throat> See, if this was Legends Arceus, I could just hop on my Y deer and just run right by them. Leave them in the dust. Drun, 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 drun. That's the sound of my Y deer galloping away. Oh, it almost killed you, though. to the ladder, you guys. We're almost to the ladder. But hey, um, I think we've got plenty of time to still catch another Pokemon this stream, so we'll get to pick out another name from the list. We're actually kind of wearing them down. Flower versus Bath, the age-old enemies. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But my flower wins. My flower wins every time. I'm still, like, amazed that when we came in here, we actually caught a Geodude for our first one instead of a Zubat. Like, that still just, like, blows my freaking mind. I cannot believe that happened. Okay, well, that was useless. They both missed. And all the NPCs are still, like, standing here, even after I battled them, like, forever ago. They never go home. They never leave. They're just chilling in this random cave forever and ever. Never seeing the stars. Never seeing the sun. A dark existence. I guess that means they're the true gamers. Oh, 
We got very far. We got very far without a random battle that time. Oh, here you go, Jane. It's your favorite. It's your favorite. I'm gonna kill it. Take that cut, Clefairy. Okay, well, I guess if you want an encore of that. You can have it. It asked to be cut. <laughs> Jane hates Clefairy. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with Clefairy. It's just a cute pink blob. You know, I mean, I'm kind of a cute pink blob. Do you, do you think I'm a poor Pokemon design? I just don't understand. The complete and total hate. They aren't Pokemon. They are, though. I mean, they're in Gen 1. Pokemon have always had, like, those types of designs in the game. They have. So, you can admit it or not admit it, but it's just true. <laughs> Some do cosplaying as a Pokemon after only hearing about them once. <laughs> oh, gosh. You crack me up, Jane. You crack me up. All right. Let's see. So facts. Pretty sure one of the games a dude turns into one, right? So facts. I have no idea. I don't know. And Koneko went to bed. She's our resident Pokemon lore expert. So Koneko would know. I do not know. All right. Oh, I can't get up there quite yet. Um. Oh. This is Route 9. Right? Julian City, Route 9. I can't catch anything here because of the Species Clause. Ah! This is the first route where the Species Clause is like, totally destroyed me. Okay, whatever. Well, we'll fight some trainers. I thought we were going to be able to catch another Pokemon, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's going to be the next route. And the next route is by the power plant, so there'll be Voltorbs, and we can get one of those. But on Route 9, we can't get anything. So, sorry guys. I built you up to that, and I lied. Nope. Moisty can have the bell sprout too. It's a good dinner for him. Yum yum yum. Bell sprout? You would like bell sprout. Did you like Drowsy Jane? I feel like Drowsy is another Pokemon that you would think is good, even though it's a little bit more human like, because it has like that, you know, the tapier nose on its face. Is really just a tape you're standing up. Nope, we're gonna keep killing the bell sprout. Drowsy's gnaw. I like this vibe, though. I feel like it's a good vibe. It's a good vibe for you. Yay, got Aerial Ace. It's a hiker, so we need... Let's put out Politician. So, Jane, what is your favorite Pokemon? And you can give me, like, a top five if you don't have, like, a favorite. Oh, I should have kept Pidgeotto in the lead. 
Oh, why did I use bite? I should have used the freaking um water one. I would have done more water pulse. There we go. Keep Gyarados out here for Onyx. Oddish or the trash one from the new Pokemon, Trubbish. Trubbish is a good choice. Very unique Pokemon. Um, and not a lot of people have that as their favorite, so I think that's a really good choice. Um, let's do one more battle. Let's battle this hiker too and get this item. Haha, -ha, bring it on. I didn't mean to use splash. I thought I hit right, not down. Ah, oh, shoot. Waste. Next command is going to be exclamation cliff fairy. <laughs> uh, I like that. I'm a man in a suit. <laughs> oh, Jane. You're determined. You're determined to spread. You're determined to spread the, the word of the Clefairy. <laughs> I swear. Alright, let's run all the way back up here. Uh, let's see. Moose, you need some levels. Let's lead Moose for this guy. Who's walking with those good-looking Pokemon? Oh, that's like our friend, Devon. This is Devon in spirit, Camper Chris. That's not good. There we go. <gasps> That's okay. I think he will confuse you to death, Growlithe. <laughs> he keeps roaring over and over! Oh my god, Growlithe, stop it! Stop it! You're not gonna find a Pokémon that's gonna be better in my team. I'm gonna destroy you with all of them. Uh, yes, Gyarados can get him. Yeah, he just was roaring, like, over and over and over. Like, what the heck and heck was up with that? Rude! Yay, okay. We'll keep Raticate in front. It's all good. <clears throat> a bee drill. I stopped using you because I got a Caterpie and I couldn't handle it anymore. I just had to use the Butterfree. I just love that Pokemon so much. He's so good in early game. Oh, I didn't mean to hit yes. No. 
Moose can stay in. Okay, here's the patch of grass. We can't get anything in here, but there's an item right here. There's an ether. Then we can hop back down. I think also there's a berry somewhere to this guy's left, but I don't, I don't know exactly where. It might be the other hiker. Let's see if it's the other hiker. Is there any weird grass around here? Nope, okay, whatever. I don't remember where it is. Oh, it might be that hiker. There's another hiker up there. We can go check. You're doing a good job, Moose. You keep getting them bugs. Oh, Venonat, we haven't seen one of those yet in this playthrough. I think because we're using Species Claws, we're gonna end up getting one, though. Oh, I thought that's where my Quick Attack was. My Quick Attack must be to the... Shoot. Yep, it's to the right. There we go. Bye, Venonat. My bugs! Oh no! Oh yeah, there it is. It's, it's gonna be here. Chesto Berry! I'm taking the rock tunnel to Lavender. We will be too, friend. Raticate is just such a powerhouse in the early game with his Hyper Fang. He just like bites everything and then they die. No, don't poison me, come on now. I don't know if I bought more antidotes. There we go. Well, he died anyway. Mm, no. Come on, get him. There we go. Good job, Moose. Okay, that's just some grass up there. I want to say this is a hiker with another, um, starting with a Machop instead of with the rock Pokemon. Thanks, Canterbury. You're beautiful, too. Gust. Thank you so much for the follow, Canterbury. Um, we are actually towards the end of today's stream, but we will be playing some more Nuzlocke next Thursday, starting at 6.30 Eastern. 
I also stream on Saturdays. On Saturdays, it's more of a podcast sort of situation where I stream with my friend Landon most of the time, and sometimes other people too, or instead of. It kind of depends, but Landon is my co-host that is in most of those streams. And we do like media analysis and fun stuff like that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We'll just keep going with Gyarados. No problem. Uh, yes. Now I want to change over to Moisty. For some reason I thought this one led with a Machop, but I guess the other one is the only one on this route that leads with a Machop. Oh, Machop, it doesn't matter because you're about to die. Goodbye. Okay. That might be the last hiker or last guy on this route. Oh no, there's one more. Um, okay, let's fight it. That way we can just finish up this route for next time. Don't you dare patronize me. Okay, I won't. Thankful All right. to be a part of this. Like, this is honestly oh, the biggest sorry. honor. It is so cool. With Mute. I was opening up Twitch because we're about to raid into somebody, but <laughs> I thought I had it muted. I did not have Twitch muted. Okay. All right, guys. Let's save here. We'll start on our next route next time. It'll be route 10. So we finished up route 9. All right. Let's find somebody to raid. Ooh, lots of our friends are playing. Okay. Lots of our friends are are streaming right now. Oh, here we go. I know who I want to raid into. We're going to raid into Kendra's friend, um, the Taco Fox. All right. Let's close out the game. Ooh, don't make that noise. Ooh, don't make that noise. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry <laughs> that it was making that noise. Okay, here we go. Uh, Taco Fox is playing Super Mario Odyssey, so that's what we're gonna do. So, raid the Taco Fox. All right, guys, if you would like to follow me on the socials, donate, all of that good stuff. I do this th the same way that every other content creator does it. You can find all the stuff down in the about on my Twitch. I put the most important things um, here in the Twitch chat right now, which is my YouTube, my Twitter, Discord, and my card that has links to anything and everything. Um, next week on Artistic License, we will be playing some more Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. And on Saturday for Interstage Window, we're going to be talking about Death Eaters. We're going to be talking about all of our problematic faves from the Harry Potter universe. So tune in for that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day. Bye.